God, it picks up speed so fast now. Oh my God, I love it. my last video but you know been busy with school and work what can I say but we're back so as you can tell by the title of this video and as a lot of you guys already know I had Ford Performance 373 gears installed on my 3.7 liter Mustang now I've had the gears for about two and a half going on three weeks I believe and man they're so awesome they're so much fun it's it's just a different experience from any other mod that I've ever done in my car. So when I first ordered the gears, I originally ordered the gears and the drive shaft off AmericanMuscle.com, which I got the drive shaft off American Muscle, but I end up, ended up having to cancel my order from American Muscle for the gears because if any of you guys are trying to buy gears, you'll know this, but the gears are always going out of stock, especially 373s on American Muscle. So I had to end up canceling them and I ordered them from CJ Pony Parts, which wasn't a big deal. It wasn't a hard thing to do. So I understand that they sell out. So I did get my gears off, three, uh, 373 gears off CJ Pony Parts. And it only took them like two or three days to ship. So shout out to them for that. So I got my gears installed here um, locally with a reputable shop. A lot of friends actually recommended this shop to me. It's called Southwest Gear. And they ended up charging me $300, which is a hell of a fucking bargain for a, a gear swap. So. Shout out to them also for hooking me up with a, a good ass price like that for a gear swap. So yeah, I got a good ass deal with the install price. And for the break-in, a lot of people always recommend, or like I always saw on forums and stuff, that people recommend 500 miles for break-in. And right now, I only have 283 miles in them, which obviously is not 500, and I've already gotten full throttle with them. And no problems yet, but you know, knock on dashboard. But the shop I took him to, he's done gear swaps over and over again. He's been doing it for like 35 years, I think he said. But he recommended to me that I just do like three or four heat cycles, which means like drive the car for like 20, 30 minutes. And uh, four, three or four times and you should be good, which I did. And I'm already, I've been doing wide open throttle pulls with the car. And it's fun. It's fun. So I'm pretty sure what a lot of you want to know about the gears is how is the, the gas mileage and how is the power band. So as far as the power band goes, it was changed dramatically. At least for me because I went from 273 gears, which is a huge jump from 273 to 373. And the power band is so much better, it's so much crazier, it's, it's much more intense. And it's just so much fun guys. The weather is starting to warm up here in Texas. Thank God because uh, I've been spinning a lot lately because the, the weather's been below 60 degrees. So once it reaches those 70 and 80 degree temps, I think we'll be good to go. So yeah, the power band was changed dramatically. The car revs out a lot faster now. Go, you go through first gear so fast. And then when you shift, the power band, it stays in like the peak power. So when you're shifting, this is the 6R80 transmission, so it is an automatic, but it's, it's I feel like the, it would, you'd see a bigger difference with the manual obviously, but for this transmission, when it shifts from first to second, it stays in that peak power, so it'll go all the way seven grand, you shift, it'll stay below 5,000 RPM, so you're always in that peak power and it just pulls, and it just pulls hard. And if you guys are new to my channel, I also have these gears paired with a MPT 91 octane tune, and which is a must in my opinion. I don't see why you would get gears or anything and keep the stock tune, because I mean, you're gonna have to recalibrate the speedometer anyways, so might as well buy a tuner and pair with a tune, which I did. I have the SCT X4 tuner, and then I bought the MPT tune a while back. So I use my SCT X4 to recalibrate the speedometer, so that way there's no issues there. I know what speed I'm going at all times. I think we're gonna have some open road right here. We can do a little pull. We'll go down to 
in first gear. Still a little cool outside, so we might spin again. Spin a little bit first and second, but down. Down! MPT transmission tuning and 373 gears don't mess around. It does not mess around. Strictly business. And one thing I love <laughs> about the gears is that you can accelerate from second gear, second, especially third gear as well. Second and third gear is so much better, it does not even compare with the 273s. Third gear, you, you pretty much couldn't even like drive in third gear below 3,000 RPM because it was just dead. But now it's all fixed. So I always get asked the question, what is the one mod that changed the car completely? That it was your biggest mod you saw the biggest difference in and it is this one. The Ford Performance 373 gears. I saw the biggest difference in performance, even better than the, the MPT tune. Um, changing the gear ratio is the biggest thing I've seen. The biggest difference in performance I've seen. It made the car like twice as fast now. It's It probably shaved off a good second, second and a half in my quarter mile time. So we will be going to the track soon to test the quarter mile time and see what it'll run. In my opinion, I wouldn't describe it as a completely different car. I would describe it as, I, I look at it as like, it's the same car. It drives the same as before if I want it to, but now it has like a that hidden power that if I want to unleash it, I can let it loose. So I don't, I don't describe it as a different car. I think of it as the same car, just a little bit faster. And another question I usually get asked a lot, now that I have the gears, is how is my gas mileage? Ha ha, your gas mileage probably sucks. Oh wow, look at this dumbass. He just put gears and he his gas mileage is gonna suck. No, it doesn't. Maybe highway, just not even highway. Like it went down a little bit. I used to get like 31, 32 highway and six gear going like 70, 80 miles, 80 miles per hour. Talking too fucking fast. Now on the highway, going that speed and that gear, the RPMs are higher, obviously, but I get I could get 26, 27, which isn't even bad for somebody who doesn't do a lot of highway driving, which I don't. As for city driving, I didn't, I didn't really see that big of a difference. Maybe just a little bit, but honestly, it's just depends on how you drive. If you can keep your foot off the gas, then you'll get decent gas mileage. It still is a V6. So highway gas mileage went down to like 26, 27, and city mile, um, gas mileage is like at 13, which it was before. It was at 14 before with the 273s, and hey, you know, you don't modify your car for good gas mileage. So if you're, if gas mileage is your big problem about modifying your car, then don't modify your car. Like this, this, this ball game is just not for you, honestly. Another thing I noticed with the 373 gears is that the shifts are a lot faster. I thought with the tune alone that the shifts were faster, which I think they were, but now with the gears, it just shifts fast. It feels a whole lot better. So to wrap it up, guys, would I recommend some 373 gears, 410 gears, or whatever the case may be? On your, at least on your Cyclone 3.7 Mustang, hell yeah I would. If you're going from 273s, you have to. Guys, you have to change your rear end. Get a new gear ratio, it's a must, because 273s are horrible. You're, 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 oh my God, I'd be in third gear going like 80 miles an hour to be in my power van, and, and it was horrible. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you found it somewhat helpful, somewhat entertaining. I'm trying to balance out school, work, and YouTube, so bear with me on that one, guys. And other than that, Subscribe if you're new, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. I see the empty dreams race across the sky.